nothing is working. I'm spending all this money on Facebook ads and nothing is working for me. I'm just gonna go cry in a corner. <laughs> Do you feel like your Facebook ads have been falling flat lately? Like every time you run an ad, it might start off good, but at some point it falls off of a cliff and you have no idea why your ads just are not performing for you at all? Well, what if I told you that there's this secret Facebook ads tool that can increase the amount of sales that you make from your ads, but it can also decrease the amount of money you're actually spending on your ads? Well, you're in luck because in this video, I'm going to break down this secret tool that you can use and shh. Keep it quiet because not a lot of people know about this tool, all right? Now, before I jump into this video, go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you find that we're dropping valuable videos. Go ahead and like this and share this with someone who might be struggling with Facebook ads right now or they've never run ads before in their life and you want to get them into the ads game because the ads game is where the money is at. One thing I love about Facebook ads is it gives you the ability to reach people that have never heard of your brand before but that are already proven to love your stuff. Imagine getting your brand in front of those type of eyeballs. It can be absolutely incredible for you. So let's get into this tool, all right? Now, a lot of times when you first get into the Facebook ads game and you start running these ads, you spend all this money on these ads and then you realize that the ad is not performing the way that you want it to perform. And unfortunately, running a Facebook ad is not like waving a magic wand and you just launch the ad and then all of a sudden you make all of this money. I wish it was like that, but, but it's not. There are actually metrics that you need to look at within your ad to determine whether your ad is performing well. Two metrics in particular that you need to look at are your CPM, which is your cost per 1,000 impressions. This is Facebook's way of telling you how much it's going to cost you for your ad to be seen by 1,000 people. Now the goal with your CPM is to get it as low as possible. If you could spend $1 to get 1,000 people to see your ad, that is an ultimate win. So we wanna keep our CPMs low. And then the other metric is our click-through rate. Our click-through rate is the rate at which someone is clicking our link compared to how many people have actually seen our ad. So naturally the goal with the click-through rate is to get it as high as humanly possible. And when you can do these things within your ad, it maximizes the potential of your ad and it helps you to make the money that you wanna make within your business. Now this tool that I'm about to show you is designed to help you to maximize both of those things, which ultimately is going to maximize your sales. So what I'm gonna do right now is share my screen and show you this tool called Audience Overlap, how it works, and why it's gonna be so effective for you and your business. All right, y'all, so this is a Facebook ad account, and this is where you would run your ads from. Psst. Hey, you. Yeah, yep, yeah, you right there, sitting on the couch, you. Hey, hey, what's up? Yo, you could have the most amazing products and services in the world, but if no one knows that you exist, then it doesn't really matter. Now, I know some of y'all watching this video are probably thinking, well, yeah, I'm, I am getting a few sales here and there, well, if you're getting a few sales here and there, you're probably just selling to friends and family and people within a five mile radius of you. And that is not a way to scale your business. That's actually the quickest way to go out of business. Then there's a portion of y'all watching this video that are making good money in your business, but you want way more money in your business. I'm here to tell you, organic marketing is not gonna do it for you. You know what is gonna do it for you though? Facebook and Instagram ads. Did you know that Facebook and Instagram ads allow you to reach millions of new people that have never heard of your brand before, but that are already proven to love the stuff that you have to offer? And because of this, we've created our Facebook and Instagram ads accelerator course. This course is literally for e-commerce owners, for local-based businesses, for service-based businesses. Regardless of what your niche is, this course is for you because we dive deep into how to get the most valuable asset in the world, which is attention. When you tap into Facebook and Instagram ads, you are now exposing your brand to all new eyeballs that can absolutely get you to record months after months after months. This course is very easy to follow, very easy to digest, and we got your back along the way. So if you wanna tap in and learn more about Facebook and Instagram ads and get your brand to the level that you need it to be at, go ahead and click the link below, and we'll see you on the inside. Peace. Now for this particular video, I'm gonna use the example of a hair care brand. Now, typically when you run ads, you have your campaign that you set up and then you have the ad set. The ad set level of the ad is where you're going to target a particular audience of people. So what we like to do when we run ads is we like to split test different audiences to see which audience performs the best. So in this example, 
we are split testing beauty versus hair care products. So essentially what we're doing here, our ultimate goal is to start selling hair products with these ad campaigns. Now at the ad set level, what we've done is we've created an audience of people that are interested in beauty products that we wanna target. And then we split test that against an audience of people that are interested in hair care products. Now, both of these audiences are going to see the same video, but we like to split test these audiences to determine which audience is performing the best. The tool that I'm gonna to introduce to you today is called the audience overlap tool. And the perfect time to be using the audience overlap tool is when you're targeting different audiences. Because what the audience overlap tool actually does is it determines how many people inside of my beauty audience are the same as the people inside of my hair care audience. So essentially what it does is it finds the people that are overlapping into two audiences. And when you can identify that, it can not only reduce the amount of money that you spend on your ad, but it can also increase the amount of money you make on your ad. And I'm gonna show you how to use that tool right now and why it's so effective. First of all, let me show you where this secret tool is because Facebook does not promote this or push this to the forefront so a lot of people don't know about this tool now the first thing that you have to do in order to utilize this audience overlap tool is you have to actually save your audiences inside of facebook so let me show you how to save your audience first thing you're going to do is you're going to select the ad set that you want to come into and edit then what you're going to do is you're going to come over here to where the audiences are and I already have this audience saved, so I'm just gonna go back so I can show y'all. So let's say that you're doing your detailed targeting and you're targeting hair care. And you target a couple other hair care type of interests here, right? Once you have your audience exactly the way you want it, all you're gonna do here is you're gonna come down right here and you're gonna hit save this audience. Now, when you save this audience, you can go ahead and name this audience, whatever you want, and then hit save as new. When you do that, now your audience will be saved. So anytime you see this tab that says use saved audience, you can click this drop down and you can select your saved audience inside of your ad account. That's just a little gem for y'all. But you need to save both of these audiences the hair care audience as well as the beauty audience in order to be able to do the audience overlap. So then you would just come to the second ad set. Then what you would do if you're targeting beauty, you would select beauty and any other beauty interests you would want. Then you would come down here and you would save this audience and you would name it whatever you want to name it and then hit save as new. Now you have two audiences, say beauty and hair care. Now that we've done that, the next thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna back up, you're gonna get out of the campaign. And now what I want you to do is go to the audiences section of your ads. So once you click on audiences, you're gonna be brought to this screen right here. And as you can see, the two audiences that you've just saved are literally right here. Okay, now in order to utilize the audience overlap tool, what you're gonna do is you're going to select both audiences. Then you're gonna click these three dots right here and you're gonna click on show audience overlap. Again, this is a crazy tool because Facebook does not promote this tool, but it's hidden within your Facebook audiences. So this is really cool. So you're gonna show audience overlap. Now what Facebook is going to do is they're going to show you how many people are in both of your interest groups. Remember, we have beauty and we have hair care. So the amount of people that are overlapping in hair care as well as my beauty audience are 86 million people. That's a 58% audience overlap, y'all. What should your audience overlap percentage be? We like to aim for 15 to 20% for audience overlap. If you can keep it below around 20%, you're in good shape. Now there's three main reasons why we utilize audience overlap. Number one is it stops the redundancy of your ads, right? So if you look at this example here, your audience overlap is 58%, which means that if I'm running ads to both of these audiences, 
there's a very good chance that I'm going to be spending money to reach the same people over and over and over again. And what happens because of that is your ads begin to perform less. You're going to get into what's called ad fatigue, where you have the same people seeing your ad. Now, let me ask you a question. Why would you want the same people that are not buying your product to continue to see your ad? Here's the answer. You don't. You do not want the same people to see your ad over and over and over again, especially if they're not buying. Because what that does is that reduces your metrics and reduces the amount of people that are actually gonna click on your link and go to your website. Now, the second thing that the audience overlap feature is going to allow you to do once you can get it to 20%, is it's going to increase the effectiveness of your budget. Because again, right now, if you're running ads to both of these audiences, there's a very good chance that you're gonna be spending money on the same people seeing your ad. But when you reduce that overlap to below 20%, now what happens is your money is able to be distributed to brand new people that are already proven to be interested in the products and services that you have. Now, the third benefit of using the audience overlap tool is the increase that you see in your quality metrics that determine how much money you're going to make. For instance, your click-through rate. If you're running ads to people that have already seen your ad and they continue to see it over and over and over again, more than likely, they're gonna be so tired of that ad that they're gonna stop clicking on the ad. They're already not buyers, but Facebook's delivering the ad to them anyway because that's basically what you told Facebook to do. You told them to deliver it to people in hair care and people in beauty. And with 58% overlap, I'm pretty certain that you're gonna hit the same person multiple times with the same ad, and that's gonna drop your click-through rate. But when you reduce your audience overlap to 20% or less, now all of a sudden, Facebook has more new people to deliver the ad to, which in turn, is going to increase your click-through rate. And the reason why is because these new people are going to be people that are already proven to like the stuff that you have to offer. And because of that, if they see a fresh ad that they've never seen before, they're more likely to click on that ad. And when they click on the ad, they are more likely to land on the landing page, love your products and purchase your products. So it's going to increase your click-through rate. And ultimately we all wanna make money and increasing your click-through rate is a great way to do it. Another metric that is going to help out is going to be your cost per 1,000 impressions. And the reason why is because if you have beauty and hair care in the same campaign, those ad sets are gonna compete against each other and cannibalize each other as well if your audience overlap is high. So now all of a sudden you have your ads that are now competing against each other, which is limiting the effectiveness of the other ad, which is causing you to spend way more money to get more eyeballs on your brand. And ultimately that's going to increase your CPMs as well. Now here's how you reduce the audience overlap in your ads. A couple things that you can do. If you're running an ad and it's, fall, it's fallen flat, and you come over here to the audience overlap and you see that it's above 20%, then what you can do is you can stop that ad and relaunch that ad, but combine these two interests together. So now your ads are no longer competing against each other and there's literally no overlap anymore. All your ads are going to deliver and Facebook's going to do the best job possible in delivering it to more people inside of that audience. Another thing that you can do, if you're split testing your ad sets and you realize the audience overlap is very large, you can shut off one of the ad sets and let the other ad set continue to run. This will eliminate any audience overlap that you may have. And lastly, the last thing that you can do is you can get more creative with your targeting. If you're gonna be split testing, find audiences that do not clash and compete against each other. Find audience that are adjacent to the topic. And that's what we teach inside of our Facebook ads course as well that y'all can get. I'm gonna link it down below. Those are the things we teach. Create campaigns that are adjacent to each other and don't necessarily compete with each other. And when you do that, you're gonna see your audience overlap is gonna be way lower than what this example is right here. But again, I wanted to record this video to give you ways to actually figure out what is going on with your ads and why you're not making the money. This secret tool can help you so much with making more money. And I don't care if you're someone who's seasoned in ads and who's been doing it and has, makes a lot of money or someone who's a newbie. This tool can work for each and every one of y'all, so I encourage y'all to tap into this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, again, be sure to subscribe 
to our channel, like this, share this with other people who will find this tool very beneficial. And then go ahead and click the links below. We got courses, we got challenges, we got a whole bunch of things designed to help you better your Facebook ads and better your business. So that being said, I will see you on the next one. Peace.